Hi, it's Laura Lee, and in this short video, I want to show you how you can um, modify the list settings in uh, Mailchimp or your email newsletter provider. Um, it's very similar in the, in Aweber and GetResponse and Benchmark. That's the other one that I use. Um, it's a very similar process, but what we're going to do is go in and edit the settings on the thank you or the message. So it will point to a place where people can actually get the offer that you're giving to them. Um, we're going to do this in two steps. There's a, a page on your website that you'll be setting up, and then there's also the settings in your sign-up form. We're doing this, obviously, with MailChimp. So, um, I'm going to use a page that already exists on my site, partially because my internet's really pokey today, and um, it's taking a little while for things to go something that's already there, so you can use it as an example. Um, so we're going to use a page on your WordPress site and MailChimp. So what if I've gone to this and I'm in one of my small little subset lists and I'm going over to the sign up forms. If you haven't already created a list, um, they will walk you that process of putting in some pretty basic information and setting up the list itself. But then you'll need to get into the sign up forms and go to your general forms and over to um, the confirmation section. And this is probably where we're going to see some slowness, unfortunately, with the, either my internet or my computer. Okay. So for in sign up forms, I'm going to just scroll down a little bit and you'll see, um, you'll see this area called build it, design it. Wow, this is spooky. And this is going to be the main one that, let's see, there's going to be the main page that kind of dictates everything or not you have a header at the top of it and form fields you've asked them to fill out. Um, then this can use some simple text in this area, which obviously you can do too, um, or design it as much as you want to. But what we're looking at this time isn't the sign up form, we want to look at the welcome email. The opt-in confirmation actually might be the one. This is the one actually that just got to say that it's confirming your sub subscription. You may want to edit that one as well. Um, but we want to send the final welcome email. This is the one we want to edit. And like right out of the box, it just has this really basic information. It says for your records, this is. Um, this is the address that you signed up for, etc. We have a little part that's just above here, it, and this is where you'll put in some text that says um, to receive your oh, your bonus or gift or whatever it is. Um, go to this page, and then include a link to that page. So the page that we're talking about in this case, or in this short, it's not technically the right one is um, this page on my site that that gives them their free offer. The reason we're doing it this way is that if you decide to change something with the offer, you want to add something more to it, um, you want to update it, you don't have to come back into MailChimp and change all of those other pieces. You can do um, make the change on your site and if you want to change the, obviously the wording of your email you can, but you don't have to worry about where everything is going. It's still going to function for you even if there's a change. So um, I'm just pasting the link. I'm not sure if the URL worked so I'm going to click on link and make sure that yeah that it does actually go to the link that I wanted it to and then click done. You can add graphics to the section if you want to. It doesn't really matter but um, at the very least make sure they can access the page that you need them to go to to grab the information. Um, there's another way, and I may not be able to show you just because everything's really slow. Um, you can also change it so that after they've confirmed the double opt-in on your list, you can just literally send them to this page and then save. So that's an option as well. So you could send them right to this page and then uh, have the confirmation thank you there as well, which in some ways is really good because it will bring them back to your website and then you can follow them through with you know there there can be another sequence there as well so for example with this one um, 
it includes the information for the link itself, I could have something at the bottom that also leads them to a paid offer or you now because that I know now that I know that they're interested in something of this nature, I could offer them something else that's similar. So that's completely up to you and that's why it's nice to have the one page that you want it to go to. Um, the other piece that I wanted to mention about having it on your website in this way is that you want to make it make the URL something that's not going to get picked up by your SEO so you'll turn off um, any of the follow links and you want to make it obviously that it doesn't show up in your um, main navigation that the thank you page shouldn't show up in your navigation at all if you need help with that I should have another video to help you with that piece so hopefully this helps and I will talk to you soon bye for now